we are back with one of the greatest hunts in the history of this channel. Welcome home, Rat Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the founder of this channel happens to be the vice president of her own fashion line. Cause I'm the new VP. Her effectiveness when it comes to work is unbelievable. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon fashion show, camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Red Pack, because your boy is here. And today is gonna be an awesome day because we are going on a very different hunt than our typical one because we are gonna be going to Ross Dress for Less. But Ryan changed that logo on screen. We're calling it Ross Collect for less because we are going to be going to Ross to find a bunch of awesome collectibles of course to add here to the cartoon cavern but you guys have been sending me some screenshots of truly unbelievable stuff whether it be artwork whether it be figures for half price Funko Pops you name it Ross has been getting it so I want to go in there today go in there full force and see all the different cartoon related stuff we can find and bring it back here to add to the collection there is a bunch of new TMNT stuff that supposedly has been dropping over there as well, exclusive to only Ross. So I'm hoping we can find some of that stuff. And of course, you're gonna be coming with me. Okay, so we are in the car right now. We are heading on over to this little like triad section that we have that has TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, and also a Burlington Coat Factory. We're gonna try out Ross. I haven't gone there in so long that there has to be assuredly some new stuff, but is it the stuff that we're looking for? We are gonna find out. I'm excited, this is a new adventure to see what they have there. And you sometimes find some obscure stuff so I'm hoping we find something just weird but yet awesome at the same time maybe some artwork and some of the coolest stuff you can find at those places so that would be really cool too and if we don't find anything I might be using Burlington or an also Dee's discount as well as a little bit of a backup plan because I really want to find some treasure today let's go ahead and head on over to Ross I'll update you guys when we get there and also ocean man ocean man shake me by the hand <laughs> Good luck ritual is in effect. Okay, so here we are. Let's check it out. It's been a while since I've been in here. It's a hit or a miss. Let's find out if it was a hit or well, let's just hope there's no misses. <laughs> You're right at the gate. We already yeah, saw something. Really, oh, first off, let's show Mitchell's shirt. Oh. Mitchell's shirt is freaking sick. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so we got something right at the gate here, though. We didn't even get into this. Store. We both saw it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. That is so freaking cool. So we have the Frankenstein version of this box. I was looking for the springtime version of this box, but they didn't have one. So you gotta get this mintier one. That one's all beat up on the side. All right, so this is the mintest one we could find. That's this, so sick. This is beautiful. And now I really have to get that springtime box because then we have this Halloween, spring, and then also the Christmas one. That'd be all three of them. We have two of the three. So we just gotta look out for the other one, but I am hyped that we have the Santa Claus SpongeBob here. It's gonna make a great day decoration during the Christmas time. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the toy section. Of course, his clothing and stuff we're gonna look at. I'm sure they have some SpongeBob shirts, hopefully, maybe some socks. But let's check out over there first and see what they have. This is like for us, our section is a toy section. This is for like moms or real adults, I guess you'd say. Random decorations. <laughs> this is their collectibles section. They're like, oh my God, they just got this. It's just in stock. This freaking deity head <laughs> and, and the thinking metal guy. <laughs> this is like the stuff that just appears in your mom's house. And you're like, where do you even find that out? Gross. Yes, yeah, gross, just this random stuff. Okay, so we're looking at the art here. You guys have seen, I found some amazing Nickelodeon art pieces that you can really only find at these type of stores. Let's take a look here. We get Lucky. It's almost like a, like a brulee. Oh, this is the uh, the pop ones. Oh, that come on. And that is so cool. The Back to the Future with kind the of 3D. In there. Okay, so we have that one. I'm going to check them all out either way, whether we grab them. Oh, there's a Disney one. Ooh, who knows what that's going to be. So we have Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Oh, down. he's upside down. Okay. <laughs> this would be beautiful if it was like Nickelodeon and then it had like all the characters in the oh. back layer with a splat. Oh. Okay, let's see I'm the Disney one. I'm guessing that one's Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, let's see the Disney one is. If it's something like Steamboat Willie, oh my goodness, these are so cool. We have Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. Oh, you guys don't know how good you have it, Nightmare Before Christmas fans. You guys have There's so two of them. This yeah. one's way cooler. 
Oh my goodness. Just imagine the SpongeBob That's beautiful. characters and jellyfish fields in the background. That'd be too cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is sweet though. Even as a Nightmare Before Christmas like mid-tier fan, I'd say, that is amazing. What do we got there? We got Disney. <laughs> I lifted it up like this and me and Mitchell saw this. I put it back down. I was like, turn the camera on. What do we have? Oh, oh beautiful. <laughs> that is awesome. It's got a little damage to it, unfortunately. It's got SpongeBob and Patrick with this like crazy like holographic. And all glasses. of them have them on. That's yeah. sick. <laughs> <laughs> the damage on it's a little bit, but I mean, looks kind of vintage. And for only for nine dollars, I mean, we might have to just grab this because, like, what are the odds we're gonna find something like this again? And like, you don't see this at Target, you don't see it at Walmart. Like, these are the only places you find this type of stuff. So I'm gonna grab it for the eight dollars and fifty cents. I mean, it's been reduced. So let's see what the original price probably was. Probably like twelve bucks. So the original price was ten. I brought it down a little bit. Probably the same as that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab it though. A little restock right now. <laughs> It just pulls out a little too. Literally TMNT. just brought out a bunch of stuff, but we have the Rick and Morty one here, and the TMNT one is sick. You want a pizza of this? <laughs> you want a pizza of this? With the orange background? I do want a pizza. Yeah, the orange back. If it would have been any other color in the background, I probably would have left it. But that orange background, we are grabbing this one too. So we have the You Want a Pizza of This? TMNT one with the Nickelodeon branding orange background. Awesome. Oh man, what are the odds he just brought that out? He's right? just like, oh, you guys are wanting some deep. MNT or some Nickelodeon, I got you. <laughs> Is there anything back here? Nope. We got a Spider-Man like 3D. Dude, that, one there's too. a lot of cool Hollywood. Like even the Sonic one's pretty sick. I'm telling you, when it comes to artwork, you cannot sleep on like Ross, Burlington. They have some incredible ones I've seen people show pictures of. And the ones we found are pretty amazing too. Look at this Zerg. Dude, for three dollars? Are you joking me? I don't even know if you have this one. I don't have this that one. That one's sick. And I wouldn't normally get this, but for three dollars, it's like, come on, I'll grab it for three bucks. Oh, and I bought this too at full price in $12.99. And they have a shadow car too. Damn. A separate shadow car for five bucks? Oh my goodness, Ross is hooking it up today. Dude, there's something crazy over here though. What the freaking world with a Leonardo helicopter? I don't even want that but that's awesome and then they got this guy down here dude oh mama chama 40 bucks for a big car <laughs> the volkswagen baja beetle that is like an incredible item i don't know if i'm gonna pick that up just because of the fact that we have a michelangelo collection and this kind of is like a little bit all of them yeah ah that is cool though either way we're gonna feature that get a good shot of this guy that is amazing that is clean i mean if we don't find anything else like anything else at all maybe i'll get this but I want to keep our budget available here because, man, we're finding some cool stuff. <laughs> we, we found some grails. This is literally one of the greatest hunts I think we've ever been on. Right here, we have freaking the pop-up game from Ninja Turtles. Oh, <laughs> Basically, really? sorry, yeah. Yeah, you're going to say, oh, really? This is the, you know, sorry, Marcus. This isn't the greatest ever. Four dollars. Let me not finish. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished. That's just a little tip of the iceberg. They have a freaking TMNT who's ball table. What? A TMNT Foo's ball table. Mitchell, that is beautiful. For 20 Dude, bucks. that's such a sick aesthetic too for like the top shelf. Cause it's gonna be like, oh yeah, here's all this cool ass graffiti. Exactly, to go up in the actual loft. Yeah. The Foo's ball table. Arcade, oh. that is like the most arcade vibes ever. This is amazing. <laughs> it just doesn't stop there. <laughs> My hands are just gonna get more. They have shadow on a motorcycle. Cause that's just not sick enough. Like, that's incredible. I wish I didn't have this crack here. So it's a maybe for me, but Shadow on a motorcycle? That gives me such a Shadow the Hedgehog video game vibe. That's too cool. That is amazing. Oh. Okay, so this one I'm gonna hold on to right now, but it isn't in there. They have a TMNT freaking hockey, hockey table. table. Like you said, literally arcade vibes for days. Once we get that TMNT one up machine up there, we have a foosball table. And but this is the table. perfect TMNT hangout section. Like, this is exactly what they would be. Just playing the arcade machines and stuff, you know? Having pizza, that'd be so sick. So for 40 bucks, we're getting a foosball table and an air hockey table. Thank you. 
fucking up, dude. <laughs> Let's keep on checking things out. But like I said, this is genuinely between this, the artwork that we found, the SpongeBob artwork, the TMNT artwork, this has to be one of our greatest hunts of all time. And for the value too. Like it'd be different if we found these and they're like 60 bucks each. Yeah, but for 20 bucks? $20, are you kidding me? have spongebob socks not gonna grab these ones because like for everything else we found today socks. and i got $5. these yeah yeah socks for five dollars doesn't seem like that great of a deal when you got all the other stuff we got today so i'm gonna leave those but it's still very very cute oh these ones are sick oh those are cool but the thing is you put those things on they stretch yeah <laughs> yeah we're not gonna get these ones but those are i just, would i would buy these if i were just funny just for fun <laughs> and then you got oh Oh, please. <laughs> oh, please. I got some friggin' oh, Raphael. The Shredder ones, too. Oh, <gasps> oh, please. There we go. We got the Oh, please Squidward ones and then the Mr. Krabs as well, too. And then they kind of like put Mr. Krabs and Squidward kind of like a duo. Because this one's the same one, yeah. It's, yeah. There's a different. That's like the Ross official duo for some reason. <laughs> You want some Blue's Clues headphones? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what they have over here, guys. So, I mean, that's... Oh, jeez. Let's just go before I break anything else. Okay, so we did a pretty amazing job here. This is genuinely, I say, probably like dollar value and just like the amazingness of the item. Probably one of the best hunts we've ever had. So hit the like button for that. We're going to head out of here. We were going to go to a backup store, but honestly, we killed it so much. It's just like maybe like a grail or something, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like there's like multiple grails here. So we're going to go ahead and head back to the cavern and check out all this stuff. And of course, add it to the collection. I cannot wait to set up this foosball table and the air hockey table. You know we're going to utilize these in the cavern. So let's go ahead and head back. We are back with one of the greatest hunts in the history of this channel. Unbelievable, classic grails. Let's check out everything we found today. So first off here, we have the awesome freaking SpongeBob Christmas edition 80 pack Krabby Patty Deluxe <laughs> Maximum <laughs> Stock Edition right here. And this thing is just beautiful. So over there, Mitchell can zoom on in look at them we have the frankenstein box these boxes they exclusively release at these bargain stores i've only seen them at this place and also tj maxx so ross and tj maxx seems to be exclusively where they drop these but the christmas one i did not know they were even going to release this so this is just cool in itself i mean the fact that as you get the box is just such a collectible in itself to be able to have this box and of course if you grew up with the krabby patties being able to see spongebob's mouth filled with them is so sad Satisfying. And in that one, it has SpongeBob with a jack-o'-lantern head on the Krabby Patty packaging. And if you look closely there, you can see you actually have Christmas-themed packaging on the patties themselves. So I don't know if the spring one had some kind of spring uh, vibes to it. I'd like to look back and know, but I don't know if it did. But either way, this is incredible. You probably won't see me add it to the collection today, but it will be going into our bolts with all the other Christmas-related items because this is going to be an item that we put on display when Christmas time comes up for sure. That guy started off as being an item that we only put out during the Halloween holiday, but then we did a spooky shelf and it became like a permanent fixture. This one, don't know if it'll become a permanent fixture or not, but nonetheless will be an awesome iconic item to have for years to come when it comes to Christmas time. So ranking the items from Ross, just because of the fact that it's such a discounted price compared to anywhere else, I mean 80 Krabby Patties divided by 15 bucks. What is that math? You get 5.3 Krabby Patties per dollar. That's really good. That's really solid considering that if you go to five below, you get one of these boxes right here, which I think contains what, eight or 10? Contains 10 and that's $3. Yeah, so you're getting a little more than your money's worth for this bad boy. Yeah, you're getting a, you're getting a bulk pricing and that's, that's when they first come out. Towards the end of these guys' releases, they will go for $10 too and you're getting this amazing box to go with it. So I'm saying 
on a scale of one to 10 good noodle stars, I gotta give this, I'm giving it a solid eight good noodle stars out of 10. A good noodle star for every 10 patties, absolutely. All right, so we have the Krabby Patties right there. That was our first item. Starting off with an eight out of 10, ain't bad at all. We're gonna get into these other guys here. I mean, there's so many banger items for us to go through, but let's go ahead and start off with one. Of, we'll go through one of the big items. Should I save the air hockey and the foosball table for the end, or should I do one now, go through some of the smaller stuff, and then finish with another one? How about we start with air hockey, finish off with foosball table, because we've never seen those. I like this food. All right, so starting off, as Mitchell said, with the air hockey table. So if we look into the heavens of the cavern, you will see we have the SpongeBob air hockey table in the collection. We also have in the vault a SpongeBob air hockey table that is like the size of this table almost. Like it's a pretty big size table. But we are working on the TMNT lock. Of course, that is coming, you know, as with everything collecting, it takes time. And eventually we're gonna get starting to really maximize that area and start designing it, painting it. It's something that the construction of that could take several months. So I don't know how I would even really put that into one palatable video. Maybe I'll end up doing that, but if not, you guys might just get updates as we change things up there. But what we wanna do up there is kind of have a whole TMNT above ground, but underground vibe going on up there and really themed around the mutant mayhem designing of it. You know, this whole like graffiti-esque style, this New York meets Nickelodeon vibe. And I wanted already to get the, I've been looking for, I've been looking for avidly trying to find it for a good price. I wanna get the TMNT arcade one-up arcade machine. Not the full-size one, because the full-size one won't fit up there. They have one that's a tabletop size, one's about this tall. Same exact game, just doesn't have the whole floor base piece to make it a little taller. I wanna make it compact, so I wanna get that one, and that has the original TMNT game on it that I grew up playing at places like Nickel Nickel, Chuck E. Cheese, and a few other arcades. But I never imagined we were gonna be able to add up there. Now I'm like, okay, we have to work this into design because we already have like the blueprint kind of done out for what was gonna be up there. We have to make space for an air hockey table and a foosball table because I think Mikey, Leonardo, Raph, and Donnie, they would be disappointed in us and not have those up there. And it was Literally almost, goosebumps that this even exists. It's like almost made for you too. It's like the orange is definitely like Mikey and then Donnie. Yeah, and like it just fits in with the vibe of Nickelodeon too so well. The green outside piecing. Oh man, just a beautiful piece here. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm assuming the setup will be similar to that of the SpongeBob one. So I should know how to set this up for the most part. Requires three trip or double A batteries. Three. Three. I only got two. Looks like some Wii remote is going to be getting an eviction notice of the <laughs> batteries. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Wii remote. But sometimes some things, well, they need your batteries. Almost every other day, it seems. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and pop this open with the, some kind of knife because I don't have one available. If only I had some kind of knife who has a history of unboxing things. Of a, a lineage of unboxing things. Oh, here we have that. There, let's open it. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. And oh! Oh, damn! It's perfect. Like, it's not the biggest air hockey table ever, but for a little, like, you know, the cavern is a very big room. It's a 20 by 20 room with, like, at least maybe another 20 of maximum height. But with our collecting prowess, we still run into space issues. So, with this, this is perfect because we can have a foosball table, an air hockey table, and an arcade machine up there. And only in 2023 could you do that because otherwise, just an air hockey table would take up that whole space. You yeah, know? <laughs> absolutely. So this is like enough to where you can play a little bit, have some fun with your friends, switch on over to foosball, then switch on over to the arcade, and you're doing all of it in the same loft. So an incredible piece here. So happy to have it. The we have a little pizza party up there one day playing all these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right here we have all the little accessories. So here we have, of course, the score counter here. We have the puck holders here. I say me and Mitchell play a little three-point game here Ooh. and see who is the air hockey jockey <laughs> as I like to call it Let's see who's the king I may be known on this channel for being quite rubbish at air hockey yeah, but I could be worse <laughs> but now Mitchell could be the worst <laughs> if I beat Mitchell then therefore I am no longer the worst air hockey player on this channel's history I will be the second worst <laughs> <laughs> We all know Parker's the best. Yeah, Parker's really good at air hockey. It's honestly kind of a question. He probably has these at home sitting there. I, I have a feeling that he was in some kind of league. He had some kind of funding from his parents to get in some kind of like exclusive club. I don't know what it is, but he, he had some kind of training. And that, I'm, I'm saying that was what happened. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to set this up. I'm going to go get some batteries real quick. Let's go ahead and check it out in its complete 
four. All right, Mitchell, are you ready to meet your maker? Absolutely. I'm gonna <laughs> kill you. Oh, well, that, that hopefully not over a hockey game, but. <laughs> no, I mean, it was the points. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. So the table is on. I'm going for your Donnie side. Oh, ooh, puck got the ring. Point for Marcus. Because <laughs> that's how this works. <laughs> First one to three wins. All right, ready? Okay. Come on. Oh, you gonna score a point on yourself. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> a little catch there. <laughs> <laughs> Things getting volatile. Watch out, Mitchell. Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> like a little strike coming your way. Oh, well, wow, messed up. <laughs> this could go forever. <laughs> See, this says more about you than me. They already know I suck at air hockey. <laughs> yeah, I apparently suck at this bad. <laughs> We're on the same skill level. This is a problem. <laughs> I don't know if Parker wins this. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the people are on the stage. People have are streaking on the court, moonwalking, break dancing. Oh, take his legs off. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. One point, we have to just. There we go. This is all my game. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't move. I didn't even know what was happening. It was going so fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's what I got. It. it never stays on my side. <laughs> I'm hitting it too hard, probably. Oh, almost went in. Very ginger, gingerly hit it. I mean, I've competed against the world champion, so maybe I have some experience. <laughs> Barely Ooh. so. All right, so two. Two out of three there. So what you do is you fake out Swift. Fake out Swift. That was a crazy fake out. <laughs> <laughs> just... Usually my tricks lead to nothing, so that, that's... There you go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Three, count them, three points. Now we can keep this air hockey table. I was gonna return it if I lost. So. <laughs> Come on, I'll let you score a point on me. <laughs> Trick shot. How ah. did you get two freaking pucks in here? That's how good I am. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, this thing is awesome. I mean, is it gonna be like something you're probably gonna pull out every single week? Maybe not, but it's like, if you just wanna kinda take somebody up there for the TMNT experience, you know? Start off with a little game of mini air hockey, work your way to the foosball table, finish it up with a nice time on the arcade table. This is gonna be a perfect addition up there. And it's so much like real estate too. Even if you're not using it, you could just kinda put figures on there as display. And then when you're playing it, you know, kinda move those guys off so you get some game time in there. That is, that's awesome. I'm gonna give this guy 10 out of 10. As many points as it can hold. Oh, I guess it holds nine, so good nine. Nine and one, you can get a 10 out of that. <laughs> nine and one, there we go. 10 out of 10. <laughs> All right, so the TMNT table is going to the side for right now. An incredible grail piece, and I think something down the line. These are the kind of products, you know, the stuff that you can find at Walmart, Target, always awesome too, but it's some of the stuff that's the most acquired because they're so available to people. But stuff like this, this have items that become grails down the line because they're made and lower productions and you can only get them at certain places so I'm really glad that we picked this guy up and just a true marker of this uh, TMNT mutant mayhem era okay so next up here we have from the Lightyear series we have Zerg and also Buzz so I mean I can say that Lightyear is like the he's like the mascot for discount that's true that's always like on sale for like five bucks <laughs> seriously if you're looking for like tote bags you can go to freaking Target and get Lightyear bags Walmart from, like, even has them for like a dollar for yeah. a buck I mean if you go to the post office Office, they actually have a sale on Lightyear stamps. <laughs> yeah. On Lightyear stamps. Like, even the stamps aren't selling. Lightyear is like literally this version of Buzz Lightyear, and what I will say is the mascot for clearance. So, I don't know why. I kind of like the Lightyear movie personally, but for whatever reason, it wasn't a big hit. So, I've been collecting some of the Lightyear stuff whenever I see it available. And this retailed originally. What is that? $17? Dang. 17 bucks. And you got for three. It went down to $3. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically like here just take it <laughs> that is dirt cheap so i didn't want to leave it behind for three bucks and of course you guys know we have a toy story collection where every single item in the collection is under twenty dollars and this is even if it was new it would have been under twenty dollars but it is clear under twenty dollars for that three dollar price tag we have zerg you're already me you just don't know it yet never gonna be you aka future buzz boiler alert you aren't gonna see it and then we have buzz lightyear here aka chris evans who did an amazing job as buzz lightyear in my opinion too so imagine x figures uh, when it comes to spongebob even some of the loose figures can go for more than this retail twenty dollars so i mean the fact that we we're able to get some imagine x figures a big brand label too i say it's a win for three dollars if it was seventeen dollars i give it a five out of ten three dollars i'm giving it an eight another eight out of ten 
What do you think? I think that's a solid score for sure. I mean, I, like, I wasn't thinking too high, but eight's pretty solid. Yeah, so I can't complain for that price. I mean, like, even at Walmart, you, the lowest it's probably going is 10, so. Yeah, on sale, exactly. So, crispy brand new product. You can add this to the Toy Story collection for only $3. Okay, I'll take that. And you know what? That might not be the last light your item you see. I mean, we might start seeing stuff on a dollar on the nickel very <laughs> soon here, and I'll be able to get some more stuff. <laughs> Next up, we have the Shadow figure here. This is a pullback car. I will say that the molding on Shadow is not the best ever. A lot of the Sonic products, for whatever reason, they're just very cheaply made overall. Not all of them, but a lot of them for some reason. And I actually do have this product in our collection already as a two-pack, where it comes with Sonic and Shadow. We picked that up at Target, I think, for $15. But you can get it here at Ross for only $5, but you only get one of the characters. And personally, since I'm more of a Shadow collector than I am a Sonic, you guys know how it goes when it comes to collecting Nickelodeon, it's everything. When it comes to Sponge, everything. But when it comes to TMNT, Sonic, and other stuff like that, I have to be selective with what I collect and who I collect in order to not let it consume my entire life any further. <laughs> because Sonic could go crazy. I mean, you could have a room this big with just Sonic stuff really easily. So being able to collect specifically Shadow and stuff that I find makes it a little bit more doable. So I did pick up Shadow, and I really wish I could have got that motorcycle figure of Shadow because I've been looking for that Shadow motorcycle figure for a long time. Time, and usually it goes for 30 to 40 dollars but I couldn't get it with that crack in the glass just because of the fact that I know that I'm gonna be keeping it in the box that's just gonna be a deterrent you know it just doesn't it's just not very nice you know <laughs> it just doesn't do it for me if it's gonna be in the box so for five bucks though I don't know the quality on it's not the best ever it just reminds me of like uh, when five below released the Patrick on a blue jellyfish you know yeah and then they had the two bag yeah exactly it, it seems like it's worth five bucks yeah it doesn't seem like it's like a steal I'm gonna go with the six out of ten yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Six or five at the most. Okay, we can go with a five and a half. So five and a half on screen. It, it, you paid for what you got. I feel like you could find that at five below. <laughs> exactly. So next up, we have some artwork here. So this one right here, we have Ooh, the yeah. SpongeBob canvas. And, you know, I may have been a little impulsive because of the fact that I love SpongeBob so much. I think I got a little impulsive and I bought this, but I don't necessarily know if this was the best buy. I mean, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot, too. I think he's very cool, but it does have a lot of damage. Like, there's a lot of damage right here. There's a line right here where the canvas is kind of threaded there. We have this black mark here on the bottom. I think maybe I could have gotten another one, but I do like it. I do love the design. The guy kind of has, like, Fourth of July design a little bit. To it. Yeah, I think it is a flag because he's got the stars up here and then the stripes. The, the, the stripes in their flag are red. Right? Kind of like mixed it. The blue is typically where the stars yeah, would be. Yeah, that is weird. And the stripes are technically where the red would be usually. So they kind of switched the location of the whites and the red, white, yeah, and They blue. couldn't make it too patriotic. <laughs> yeah, so they kind of mixed it up. But I do love the sunglasses and the holographic effect to it. You got Patrick with a little cute bow tie. They all look fantastic on it. I just think the condition of the actual canvas isn't really the best. It's an amazing design. I just wish I would have got a better shaped one. I'm going to give this one a seven and a half or what do you think i think for the design it's really cool so i'd give that like an eight but like the quality like i guess as you're saying like the scuff mark and stuff yeah like six six and a half okay so i was saying seven so six and a half if like i said if it was clean it would have been a way better piece i mean there's just so many parts where paint's kind of chipping off of it and whatnot but still very very cute nonetheless so six out of ten okay now the next one up here we have is in really clean shape and <laughs> this that one was just stuck too yeah well i mean you know, you know what this is actually more expensive than this one was oh so it makes it this was cheap this was very cheap absolutely yeah so i mean it's not like it was a I, i'm still giving it a six and a half out of ten it's not like they charged you a price that wasn't worth a six out of ten because the next one's a little smaller for the same yeah but this one's way cleaner so we have the you want a piece of this TMNT poster and like I say I only collect Michelangelo and we have all of these guys on here but background is orange like the background is orange so it definitely represents Mikey the As most. it blends in with like the table and stuff. Exactly it blends in with everything in here and the Nickelodeon vibes and if it would have been any other color on the spectrum in the background we would have left it but the fact that it's orange in the background I had to pick it up because we have a lot of items to put up there in the TMNT loft but not a lot of wall art so this was definitely a piece that i want to add to be able to have as like you know a little piece to put up on the wall as a little representation of the old school ninja turtles and you know paramount plus has been promoting it like crazy right now you can watch every version of the ninja turtles on paramount
Paramount Plus, including the OG one. So, you know, it is very integrated into the Nickelodeon brand. So, I'm happy we picked this one up. And for $8.99, I'm going to say this guy up. Uh, I'll give it a seven. Seven? How many slices of pizza are there? Eight. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say a nine. So, I'll go with an eight for myself. Okay, right, you're going with an eight. I'm going with a nine. Let's do an eight and a half on screen for the TMNT wall art. Okay. And now for this fool. This the fool. foosball table. Wooden tabletop foosball. I'm excited to check <laughs> this out. There's never been, I mean, SpongeBob had the air hockey table, but I don't think they ever released an air hockey or a foosball table for SpongeBob. You know how so. sick that'd be to have like SpongeBob and Patrick as the little foosball men? Why do I feel like that's a game or like a something that exists? <laughs> it probably does somewhere in this world. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm just thinking about the Squidward game where you have to kick the, uh, you have to hit the ball or oh, yeah. kick the soccer ball past Squidward. So your goal here is to pull back this soccer ball, and your goal is to, you know, to get through the ultimate goalie, the six-armed squid. So let's go ahead and pop open this foosball table and check it out. And let's see if Mitchell any better at foosball than he's at hockey. I hope he's, he is, but I hope he's not because I don't want to lose. But I mean, it would be a draw if I won, so. And this is not a marker on Mitchell as being a bad air hockey player. I'm not a bad air hockey player. Spargridge is on another level. He's just an air hockey wizard. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Everyone's got their sport, you know. It's like me, I got my, my, my bowling. Parker's got his air hockey. And Marcus. me, I got nothing. <laughs> we haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have all the pieces here. Ooh, it has actual soccer balls in there. So well, I would expect nothing less. Yeah, so we have soccer balls. You have the red and the blue classic. Looks like this is our play mat here. And then you have the actual goals here too. So Ooh. really solid construction. I mean, it's only 20 bucks. So like the construction of it is, you know, the fact <laughs> that it's made out of wood. Well, it retailed for probably way more than 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, like it's made out of like some particle board. It's nothing crazy but at the same time it's not straight cardboard like it's solid enough so let's go ahead and set this up all right let's do this i wish they had the little hole on the side like they used it you know yeah all right i'm gonna drop the ball in and then i'm gonna count down to three three two one oh can't lift up the table now oh, oh i'm calling scam <laughs> what? i'm calling scam you lifted up the table oh, yeah i totally touched the table <laughs> All right, one point for Mitchell. Hey, you treat your own points. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm so I got a point. Oh, don't no, get calm down. All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. This is so. I'll pass it to my Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, get it over here. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Second line of defense. Get it back over there. Oh. Yeah, get it back over there on Mitchell's side. Yeah, baby. Get it in there. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice little nail. Oh. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, this is my game today. <laughs> all right, give me the give me the ball. All right, go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay. You clean okay. sweep me on one. I'll clean all right. sweep you on another. Bonus point. This one winner takes all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> no. No. God. No. Please. Please let me get a point. Yeah. <laughs> Winner takes everything. I won. Yeah. Their hot table was better. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so I will say foosball, it kind of translates really well into like the miniature version of it. Like air hockey, for some reason, it still felt like you were missing something. It's just like the table's so small, so like any rebound is just too much. Yeah, whereas this, I feel like it translates really well into a miniature version. <laughs> it's endless fun. Yeah. Oh, damn it, Mitchell's an example, he did the sport. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the thing is though, as I was trying to sit, but I was focused, it's like when the air hockey, it's like too, short for you to even be able to really react. But in foosball, it's slow enough that the miniature aspect of it doesn't take away much. Yeah, because it's like air hockey, as soon as you touch it, it's already like touching the other person's puck or the, yeah. other, the mallet. So just... I'd say the foosball table is the most fun of the two. Like this is super cool. And there's something, you know, air hockey, you hit it, it's so quick. You're like, did I score? Yeah. This, you're able to spin it, put a little nasty lick on it. You're like, <laughs> Fight oh, back, yeah. he scored and his thing's still spinning. I feel disrespected. <laughs> you know, that is just clean. I don't know. This has got to be one of my favorite products we've got to feature here on the show in a while. Just a freaking nice little boom. Look at that. Nice little boom slinger there. This thing is just cool. 
So, awesome TMNT product. Let's go ahead and feature it right next to, to the air hockey table. Just two collection classics. You get this, that TMNT arcade machine. Who needs Dave and Busters? You got <laughs> a freaking car comfort cartooner. <laughs> you got freaking a whole arcade right here. That is freaking awesome. If I was to pick one though out of the two, like for my personal self, who's ball table? Oh yeah, you won that one. <laughs> 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 Not because of that, but this is more fun. No, I would pick a foosball table too. The air hockey table, it works really well, it's fun, but this translates really well. I could do this all day. <laughs> I just feel like you have to screw this into something so it doesn't look like... Exactly. You're just trying to spin, you're like... <laughs> you're lifting it up. Maybe double side tape it down just as a little bit resistance. Yeah. That would be perfect. Or so. if you want to build like custom legs or something. Yeah, man, you could even make like a little triad table where you go through layers of games. <laughs> That'd be rough. <laughs> This is just sick though. The, uh, amazing day at Ross. When we started this day at Ross, I thought we might come back with some mugs, you know, a couple t-shirts maybe. Some socks or something. Never that I think we would come back with freaking SpongeBob Krabby Patty box, a freaking $2 freaking Buzz Lightyear figure, and a foosball table and an air hockey table, and some damn artwork. You can't write this. This is unbelievable. So if you guys want to see us go to Ross, and we didn't, we didn't even go to TJ Maxx. We were going to go to Ross, TJ Maxx, Mark. But Ross did us in so well, we didn't have to go anywhere else. If you guys want to see us do some videos in the future going to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, I can't guarantee they'll be as crazy as this was, but I can damn sure hope nothing can stop that. So <laughs> if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Ranking for the foosball table. I mean, I'd, I'd give it at least a 10. <laughs> I give the air hockey table a 10, so I feel like it's underwhelming to give this a 10. I'll give the air hockey table a 9, and I'm going to give this a 10. Revamp score for you. I'm sorry. You probably thought your, your deed was done. You went home to your parents. You're like, hey, I got a 10 out of 10. <laughs> They're like, wow, son, we are so proud of you. One day you too will end up in a Chuck E. Cheese. And then he had to come <laughs> back home with his 90% score. Marcus comes in and says, no, no. We got a new kid in class and he's getting a 100. You're getting a 90%. Go tell your air hockey parents that. And I'm finished with this, this nuclear family air hockey uh, metaphor. Let's, uh, Let's move on. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> but stick around, guys. We're not going to be adding too much today because these guys are going to be going up in the Avatar loft. This guy's going to be going inside of the vault for Christmas time, which is coming up very soon here, as well as the loft. We're going to be adding the TMNT artwork up here. We will be adding this to our Toy Story collection, but that should pretty much sum it up. So stick around for that. For that, you know the drill. Scan it. Okay, and we have the Zerg and Buzz right here. Behind our other light here, a light of light here. I mean, there's a, a light of lights in that sentence, but <laughs> everything is fitting in. It's really starting to come to be like a pretty substantial collection. I mean, like it was a big collection, but this is actually getting like pretty impressive. And every single item here again was under $20, proving that even in 2023, you can create a horde of light year. <laughs> it is awesome. Awesome. I love it so much. One of my favorite collections always just to kind of see how far we can push this 20 buck uh, limit and it looks great. Okay, so that is actually it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here so you guys do not miss any of the videos that come down the line. We have a brand new video with a mystery box that came from the Kids Choice Awards coming very, very soon. So make sure you guys have your notifications on so you do not miss it. I can't wait for this video to come out. And if you guys want to support the show further, go check us out on Patreon where you get an extended version of this video and on top of that behind the scenes early releases and a bunch of other perks so that will be down below for you to check out and if you guys want to get $15 for free and be a part of a bunch of giveaways go check out whatnot where you get 15 bucks off your first pickup and like I said we do giveaways over there every single week and this December we're going to be having a grand prize giveaway it's a rep pack gift to you guys with a bunch of different items packed into one big box going to one person so if you want to be a part of that, go check that out. I'll see you guys in this video right here. But as always, Rep Pack, I will see you, beautiful people, in the next video. Adios and bloop!